Hello everyone and welcome to Plasico. Today I bring you a micro game that is a 2D platformer. I had problems opening this micro game. I needed to go into the Learn tab in Unity Hub, and where is platformer micro game? Uh, I opened the project here because when I open in the, as a new project, it wasn't opening at all. Uh, it threw a, a error, so this way uh, I think it's it's okay and we have the project here so we can get started so as the other tutorials the first thing we need to do is press start and enter play mode to test the, the game okay okay let's try this I will I will unmute the audio just to see if I have sound effects but I will talk after yeah or otherwise, I, I am afraid you can't hear me very well. Okay, we got a, an idea of of the game. Seems pretty good, actually. It seems very responsive. Uh, give it a try yourself. And now the tutorial is telling us to select a game object in the hierarchy. That is the player. It's shining here. Let's press player. And now they are telling us to change the max speed. Okay, let's input something like five. Let's not abuse like in the last tutorial <laughs> with the card in, with the card with the 100 speed. And let's input next. Enter play mode again to see the, if it's working. So yeah. Now it's a uh, a little bit faster. We saw that uh, the player is now faster and we can go into tutorial number 2. Edit controls, let's save. And this window always resetting its size. Oh, expand. Now edit control, let's start. Okay, as always we have the hierarchy here with the game objects. We have the scene that have all these game objects inside. Let's press next, we have the end tool, and as a 3D game, we can pan around, just like this. So you can zoom in and zoom out with your mouse wheel, and if you press Alt, and you zoom, it will zoom like in straight line, instead of like, if I move the mouse here, at this uh, inferior right corner, and if I zoom in here, it will zoom uh, literally to that side but if I press Alt and I zoom anywhere it will zoom like in, in the, at the center of the screen so let's put next uh, now the we need to select the move tool okay and move the yellow token okay let's grab the token and you see that we have a lot of tokens here applied but our our token is selected, is this one right here, and we can move it anywhere you want. I will leave it right here, for example. Press next. Tutorial completed. Let's go into editing the colors. Save. Let's press start to begin. We can pick the player. And now we can change its color right here. Because it's a it's a sprite, it's different from our material, like in the previous tutorials and the previous uh, micro games. But we can just select the color here, and let's input something like uh, I don't know why we don't make the player looks like uh, okay, not yellow because it's the color of the token. 
but something like orange for example and if you put next and enter play mode our player now is orange looks pretty good that's pretty cool and and they are telling us that uh, remember that you can tint the color of any 2d game object this way provided that you are using a gray sprite like we have in this template otherwise you can simply color any sprites you create in image editing applications okay we can go into adding uh, an enemy right now Let's put this Okay, to add an enemy, an enemy is a prefab. You can see that the enemy is here. Let's press start. We can simply drag our enemy into the scene. I'll drop it right there. Input next. I can move the enemy around with this tool. So I might want him to start here, close to the, the yellow token. Input next. And the tutorial is completed. We are not going for the build and publish. We have done this in the first person shooter tutorial. If you need uh, to see how how we can do this, go there please and check uh, the, la the last video that show how to accomplish this. We here will input done and we will try out our game. So you can see that our enemy is there. Our yellow token is also here. Now our sprite is orange, our, char our main character and everything is working as expected. So let's quit here. And yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy these little tutorials about the micro games. Unity Hover have some more projects there, we, we might go into them uh, later. But I also want to go and throw some tutorials about C Sharp or other mini games so yeah we will see what's coming next but anyway stay tuned for for the other content that is coming and i'll see you next time thank you a lot for watching